Chapter 3 The Enchanted Forest The echoes of the artifacts unveiling still resonated within Arya as she embarked on a new journey alongside Dr. Felix Thornfield and a group of historians. The expedition was a continuation of the symposium's pursuit of knowledge, a quest that would lead them into the heart of the Eclipsed Kingdom's mysteries. As the group ventured into the Eclipsed Forest, a sense of anticipation hung in the air like mist. The trees towered above them, their ancient branches adorned with leaves that seemed to shimmer with an otherworldly light. The very atmosphere of the forest was charged with an energy that stirred Arya's curiosity. Dr. Felix walked at the forefront of the group, his familiarity with the terrain evident in the confident way he navigated through the dense undergrowth. Arya followed close behind, her senses heightened as the whispering of the leaves seemed to carry secrets that beckoned to be discovered. The deeper they ventured, the more pronounced the enchantment of the forest became. Shafts of sunlight filtered through the canopy, casting intricate patterns on the forest floor. Arya's hazel eyes were drawn to the play of light and shadow, as if the very forest were a living tapestry woven with magic. As they walked, Dr. Felix began to share tales of the forest's significance in the history of the Eclipsed Kingdom. The Eclipsed Forest he explained, is believed to be a place where the energies of the cosmos converge with the realm of the earth. It's said that the royal family would come here to commune with the celestial events that the kingdom is named after. Arya listened with rapt attention her imagination stirred by the idea of a forest intertwined with the cosmos. The legends of the vanished royal family seemed to echo within the rustling leaves and the gentle sighs of the wind. As the day progressed, the forest's enchantment seemed to intensify. The expedition members began to notice curious occurrences, shimmering lights that flitted just beyond their peripheral vision, and the sensation that the very ground they walked on was alive with a pulsating energy. During a rest break, Professor Lawrence Richter spoke up, his excitement evident in his voice. These occurrences remind me of folklore from around the world, stories of mystical creatures that inhabit enchanted forests. Arya's mind raced with possibilities as she considered the implications. The forest's aura seemed to suggest that the legends held a grain of truth that perhaps the eclipsed forest was not just a backdrop to history, but an active participant in the kingdom's mysteries. As evening descended, the expedition members set up camp beneath the sheltering branches of the ancient trees. The forest's transformation was awe-inspiring. Fireflies danced in the darkness their light adding to the sense of magic that permeated the air. As Arya lay in her sleeping bag, gazing up at the starlit sky through the gaps in the canopy, a rustling sound nearby caught her attention. She turned to see Dr. Felix Thornfield approaching, his expression thoughtful. Can't sleep. He asked softly, 
his voice carrying the same sense of reverence that he displayed during the symposium. Arya shook her head, a small smile tugging at her lips. The forest seems to come alive at night. It's as if every leaf and every breeze holds a secret waiting to be revealed. Dr. Felix settled beside her, his gaze fixed on the stars. The cosmos and the earth, they've always held a mysterious connection. It's a reminder that we're a part of something much larger than ourselves. Their conversation continued, weaving together threads of history, philosophy, and the sense of wonder that the forest inspired. Arya felt a unique connection with Dr. Felix, a shared reverence for the mysteries that surrounded them. The following day brought new discoveries as the expedition delved deeper into the forest. Arya found herself wandering away from the group, drawn by an otherworldly melody that seemed to emanate from a clearing nearby. As she stepped into the clearing, her senses were greeted by a sight that seemed plucked from a fairy tale. Mystical creatures danced in the dappled sunlight, luminous creatures with wings that glowed like stardust, their laughter a melody that harmonized with the rustling leaves. Aria's heart swelled with a mixture of awe and disbelief as she watched the creatures move in a graceful rhythm that seemed to echo the very pulse of the forest. One of the creatures approached Daria, its eyes sparkling with curiosity. It extended a delicate hand toward her, and without hesitation, Arya reached out to touch it. The creature's touch was like a gentle caress, its energy coursing through Arya's veins in a sensation that felt both familiar and surreal. Dr. Felix's voice cut through the enchantment, his tone a blend of awe and caution. Arya, be careful. These creatures are guardians of the forest, beings that bridge the realms of myth and reality. Arya withdrew her hand, her heart still racing from the encounter. The creatures retreated into the shadows, their luminescence dimming as they blended seamlessly with the forest. What were they? Arya asked, her voice barely more than a whisper. Dr. Felix's gaze held a mixture of wonder and respect. Legends call them the Luminari, beings said to be born from the energies of the cosmos. They're protectors of the eclipsed forest, connected to the very essence of the kingdom's history. The encounter with the Luminari left Arya with a profound sense of awe. The legends of the vanished royal family and the artifact's power seemed to converge in the presence of these mystical beings, reinforcing the idea that history was a tapestry woven not only from human lives, but from the threads of the natural world as well. Days turned into nights as the expedition continued its journey through the enchanted forest. Arya's connection with the land seemed to deepen with every step, as if the very roots of the trees whispered tales of the past and the future. During a quiet moment, Dr. Eliza Bennett approached Arya, her expression contemplative. 
You've developed a unique bond with the forest, Arya. The legends and mysteries seem to resonate with you in a profound way. Arya nodded, her gaze fixed on the forest that seemed to pulse with life. It's as if the forest itself is a living archive of history, a keeper of secrets that demand to be heard. Dr. Eliza smiled knowingly. Perhaps the forest recognizes the sincerity of your pursuit, your dedication to uncovering truth while respecting the threads of the past. As the expedition reached the heart of the forest, they discovered an ancient clearing. At its center stood a tree unlike any other, its branches arched like cathedral windows, its leaves a kaleidoscope of colors that seemed to shift with the passing breeze. Dr. Felix's voice was hushed as he spoke, his words carrying a sense of reverence. This is the Nexus Tree, a place of convergence between the energies of the cosmos and the Earth. It's said that those who stand beneath its branches gain insights into the mysteries of time and existence. Arya stepped closer to the Nexus Tree, her hand instinctively reaching out to touch its gnarled bark. As her fingers made contact, a surge of energy coursed through her, and her mind was flooded with visions, echoes of history, glimpses of lives that had woven the tapestry of the eclipsed kingdom. The forest's secrets seemed to unfold before her, the royal family's connection to the cosmos, the artifact's role in shaping history, and the choices that had defined the course of events. The threads of the past and the future intertwined in a dance of light and shadow, revealing the intricate interplay of humanity's journey. Arya's eyes welled with tears as the visions subsided. The forest had become a conduit for history's stories, a realm where the barriers of time seemed to blur, and the past and present coexisted in harmony. As the expedition prepared to leave the enchanted forest, Arya cast a lingering gaze at the Nexus tree. The forest had revealed its secrets, a symphony of history, legend, and the very essence of existence. And so, with the knowledge gained from the eclipsed forest's embrace, Arya and her fellow historians prepared to return to the symposium. The mysteries of the artifact, the legends of the vanished royal family, and the enchantment of the forest were threads that wove their journey into a tapestry of discovery and understanding. As they emerged from the forest, the sun's rays bathed them in a golden light, a reminder that history's truths were as timeless as the cosmos itself. The symposium awaited, a gathering of seekers who had ventured into the heart of mysteries, guided by the beacon of knowledge and the promise that the past held the keys to shaping the future. Thank you.